Get down! The droid patrols will spot you. Apologies for shouting, my lord. But if they find one of us, they'll find all of us. I'm Lieutenant Rutal, 5th Infantry, 2nd Battalion, Besh Company. I'd say 1st Platoon, but there isn't one anymore. Your ankle is charred down to the bone. You need a medivac out of here. Oh, that. I knocked over a droid and he shot me from the ground while I was slagging the others. That faceless one there is him. It was one of the many droid patrols from the Okara factory. They spotted us uploading a virus, surrounded us. It was ruthless. Droids aren't like people. They don't retreat. They don't accept surrender. They just keep exterminating. So now it's up to me. You're wounded and alone. You're asking to get killed. Pain is in the mind. This ankle looks bad, but it's not an essential bone. The mission is what matters. If I can ambush enough patrols of battle droids, I can upload my packets and run before my painkiller wears off. What else can I do? I'm not going to ask you to go where I wouldn't. If you refuse assistance, then your fate is your own. If you're going to insist, I'll do just that. Good luck. You're alive. And not only that, my comlink is picking up signals again. Is everything uploaded? That network should be choking on malicious programs. Now it's my turn. I'll aim our scanners at the Okara droid factory to measure the extent of the damage the virus has caused. If the computer core shuts the probes down, I can record how long a window that creates for future assaults. I'm guessing insanity runs in your family. Ha! No, scanning from here is no risk compared to what you just did. I'll find a secure spot and call a medical ship soon. I cannot express what your success will mean. Not to me, I'm nothing, but to the families of the men who died for this mission. Those soldiers did not fail their empire, nor did their empire fail them.
My lord, I mark your progress and see that the charge is armed. I will detonate once you are a safe distance. But first, I have Darth Barris on hollow for you. I will retreat and leave the line secure for the two of you. Apprentice, we have one more potentially compromising thing to take care of before you can confront my spy, Commander Rylon. It involves invading a Republic keep to find a lowly ensign named Dermot. He is Rylan's son, and the Commander confided his true identity to him. Ensign Dermot must be silenced permanently. It will be my pleasure. I'll make sure he never talks. I'll signal Quinn to give you the details. Be swift. My lord. Ensign Dermot is being detained in the break of the Republic Crater Outpost, awaiting questioning by the mysterious agent Barris has me tracking. I will alert you if the investigator appears to be heading there. I assume you wish to get to Dermot before she does. It's none of your business, Imperial. I apologize, my lord. My inquiring mind often gets the best of me. I won't delay you any longer. Good luck on your mission, my lord. I'll be here if you need anything. Word has it the former Balmoran Minister of Defense, Vol Argon, got wind of your work destroying the generators at Nibre Warehouse. He's furious. I can't wait to hear his reaction when we attack him with his own cyborg's gear. Perfect. Maybe he'll decide to come here and fight, so I can kill him. We'll do our utmost to provoke him. To reach the Resistance's main base, we need to push through the Gorinth Wilds. But the Resistance have repelled all Imperial offensives with guerrilla attacks from this untamed and largely uncharted area. A Balmoran defector, Cavill Arryn, has agreed to help us clear out the wilds and carve a path to the Resistance's base. He's at the Gorinth Imperial outpost. There's been chatter on the Resistance frequencies while you were off planting the Ordnance. The Resistance has set off three bombs so far. The first blast sent them scattering. Then, of course, they attempted to stay in touch via comm unit. So you can imagine the results. Quite a successful operation. They defied the Empire. Now they will fear it again. I'll say. One bomb went off near the Resistance's medical bay. They say they're treating wounded on conference room tables now. And with the investigation they'll have to launch to discover our method, we'll be ahead for quite some time. Lieutenant Ruta reported in. He says you completed the platoon's objective alone. Rutau is too humble. He expended great effort to carry on the mission. We will recover him when possible. Now, a new development demands attention. Our battalion may have been unable to assist the platoon at Akara, but I assure you they were not sitting idle. Oreck and Crash companies, and the remainder of Besh, simultaneously invaded rebel posts in Broken Valley. They found something. I'm glad someone in this outfit succeeds on the first try. Yes. We become good at deciphering the mess that Imperial Intelligence sends our way. Our droids went through the rebel databanks and pulled out messages about them occupying a tunnel network we call Cave 52. The rebels are in Broken Valley, and they're moving in cargo. All indications are that this load is special. Bombs work wonders on caves. Have you contacted the Air Force? No. We want the cave contents undamaged. The rebels transferred in elite units. This is something they don't want us to have. If our whole battalion comes knocking, they'll evacuate immediately. We'll need a small, fast attack to get inside K-52. The guerrillas know the tunnels quite well, so I suspect they have ambush points. I fear no one. Good. Word will spread about the captured posts, so I would head to Broken Valley immediately. We'll have a surveillance officer monitoring K-52's largest entrance. His name is Trecht. When you've seen the cargo, report to him, and he'll contact me on a secure frequency. Go in strength. My lord, my respects. How do you like Balmora so far? Doesn't seem like much, does it? Let's just get to the mission. 
Resistance stealth troops have been infiltrating Imperial outposts, making quick strikes and leaving no trace. The Empire says they can't be beaten. I say they can. What's so scary about them? You don't see them until they kill you, that's what they say. But I built the tech they use to keep hidden. There are camps in the Gorinth Wilds, but they've surrounded it with mines to keep strangers out. Watch your step, and you can use this device to detect the stealth fighters. They're fast, though. If I may offer advice, strike quick and hard. Generators targeted. Weapon locked. Aerial assault, Commander Nedis. My lord, at your service. One moment. Fire when ready, officer. Show no damage. Should we come around for another run? What's the use? Return to base. There you have it. The resistance shield generators are well nigh invulnerable. Too entrenched for our bombers, too well armored for ground assault. I'm not here to save you. If you can't fight this war, you can be replaced. Listen to me. We haven't lost this. There's a solution of sorts. This planet is orbited by laser defense satellites. Most were destroyed in the invasion, but a few still function. If we took over the laser satellites via their control tower, we could aim them at the planet and destroy the shield generators. My predecessor called it Operation Firestar. I see no problem here. Firestar was scrapped. With the resistance blasting us every step of the way, taking the control tower is impossible, and we have no alternative. If Operation Firestar stays iced, the aerial campaign is doomed. But perhaps, the Sith's wrath can do what a squad of soldiers can't. Here. What do you need, Amberkater? Hold on. How did you get in? I have your people. I ask the questions. A Sith, eh? No one move. We... We might work this out. Listen, the people in that complex aren't of any consequence, and are certainly no threat to the Empire. Don't make me show you what a threat is. Explain why they are in hiding now. It's because of the law. If you are at all, you know, Force-sensitive, you have to go to Korriban for Sith training. If you don't train, you're executed as a potential threat. But not everyone would make it as a Sith. Some people discover their sensitivity when they're too old, or they just don't have the will. So they go into hiding with us. I can feel them reach out, but terror makes them unsteady. They grasp nothing. That's what our Jedi thought. They can feel a little, but they're not worth training. Get them to Republic Planet so they can grow dirt or compose symphonies or whatever it is they're good at. But the Emperor keeps making laws that say they have to die. They do. Then you're going to watch. You are a monster. And we're going to hunt you down like one. Yeah. Mm -hmm.